look at us. We are right back here live. It is Monday night, man. I'm so excited. I, you know, I've been waiting all weekend to be back here. Uh, we are going to continue right on. You know, uh, it's time to get serious. And uh, let me turn off this big bright light in my face right here. It's time to get serious about where we're at and what we're doing. You know, we've been talking for, this is episode 30. Can you believe it? We have been doing this. This is episode 30. I, I just, I mean, I'm, I, I'm trying to comprehend, you know, where we're at and what we're doing here. And, and it, gets, it, it gets more exciting every single day. And what we do and how we do it and where we're going and, and, and what's happening and, and, and everything. I mean, uh, the broadcast is, is live. Uh, it, it's getting better and better every single day. Uh, the technology is getting absolutely phenomenal. And I don't know why my name's not showing. I'm, I've got something turned off or something. But anyway, I want to welcome everybody to Monday of 9 to 9, 20, 20 minutes with Carrie. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. We want to thank you for being here. Let's hear from a quick sponsor, and we're going to get started right here on 20 Minutes with Carrie. Our mission is to help you earn an extra $500 a month or more in income without changing the amount you already spend on shopping to empower you to help as many families as possible do the same. Making shopping smarter for you. Never shop with a brand that doesn't pay you back again. With Trunited, you can choose from top brands who want your business and get paid just for living your life. Treat yourself to a smarter shopping experience. Join us at Trunited today. Okay, we're going to get started. Once again, thanks everybody for coming out to 20 Minutes with Carrie here on a Monday night. Let's talk about making decisions. And I know we've already talked about that. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things where it's hard. You know, it, it's, it's, it's hard to make a decision. And there's never an easy time to make a decision. But let me tell you what not making decisions does for you. It sets you back. It holds you back from getting to where you want to go. And this is what happens. You know, decisions come up and, and, and you try to do something and you're wanting to do something. And you're wanna, wanting to pull yourself out of the gutter. OK, and I, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but man, we get ourselves in such financial mess today. And it just absolutely drives me crazy. And so you have the opportunity to do that, but you can't make a decision to pull the trigger. And, and I ask myself, why does that happen? What is it that creates that? What is it that causes that? And, and, and it's life. You know, everything that surrounds us, our problem is, is we don't think about us. And I understand that. I understand not, you know, thinking about you and not putting yourself where you want to be and not doing the things you want to do. And, and, and you say, well, I've got, to, I've got to hold myself back. That's BS. The only thing you're doing is destroying your dreams. When you hold yourself back from making a decision to take you where you want to go, you're holding yourself back from your dreams. And I can promise you, those around you do not want, to hold, want you to hold, hold back. Why would anybody in their right mind say, okay, yeah, put everything on hold for me? Nobody wants to do that. Nobody, but, but in our mind, we think, oh, wait a minute. If, if I don't hold myself back, if I don't put myself in that place, if, 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 if I don't do this, if I don't do that, that, that's total crap. Okay. Now, over this next few days, I'm going to be very upfront and honest because I want to try to teach you what makes successful people successful. And those who lose every single day, those who fail every single day and can't pick themselves back up, I want to take you to that place and quit all the stuff and the junk, okay, that keeps you from going where you want to go. I talk to people every single day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't talk to people that tells me, Carrie, I want to be successful. I want to be successful. Could you please help me be successful? And I show them the formula and it's three simple steps. And I say, take this and run with it. And, and then I say, and I will ask them, what did you do today? Well, nothing. This got in the way, this got in the way, this got in the way, this got in the way. That's, that's such horse crap. That, that tells me that you weren't serious to begin with, at least not today. 
and then this time next year. <coughs> Sorry, I get excited. My throat starts closing up. This time next year, you're going to be in the same place and you're going to have the same excuses. This, you know, life is excuses. And some of you are saying, well, Carrie, that's not true. Yes, it is true. Because I can tell you right now, pull yourself out of the center of all the crap. And guess what's going to happen? The crap's still going to be there. Nothing's going to be able to remove that. Nothing's going to take that away. Just because you're there doesn't make it any better. You think it does. You know, my mother is a 15-year cancer survivor. 15-year cancer survivor. I love her more than I love the air that I breathe. She is my mother. I speak to her almost daily. I spoke to her right before this show. And, you know, she always tells me, hey, have a great show. Go make a lot of money, blah, blah. You know, she always gives me the rah, rah, rah speech. And I love her for that. She would never want me to say, oh, Carrie, you know, I, I feel so bad today. I've never heard my mother say she feels bad. And she's a cancer survivor. And she's, I think she's got cancer now. But you know what? She's not going to burden everybody that she's got cancer. She's 84 years old, fixing to be 85 years old. She, she alluded to the fact, and I know that it's probably there, but we're not going to harp on the bad. We're going to go forward with the good because you can't go back every single day and, and cry the blues and, and pull yourself out and do those things. It's going to kill you. Trust me, I have anxiety worse than anybody in the world. Does it allow me to stop me going forward every day? No, you can't let it do that. You can't. Don't let anything crush your dreams. Don't let anything stop you. Because I'm telling you, the world is going to go on with you or without you. I don't care how much trauma there is. I don't care what is surrounding you. I don't care what's happening. You've got to put yourself in the center of you. You have got to become you. You have got to become the person that you want to be and stop all the rest. Please, I'm asking you for your own sake, for your own good. Hey, Raj, how you doing, buddy? You got to do it for you. And if you don't, guess what? Nobody else is. Nobody. I talk to people every single day that could be a millionaire. I talk to people that could probably make a million dollars a month that could make $12 million this year if they'd pull their head out of their butt. But they're too busy worrying about everything else. Worrying about everything else isn't going to get you out of debt. Worrying about everything else is not going to build your business that's going to get you out of debt. Worrying about everything else is not going to take you to the place that you want to go. Worrying about everything else is not going to change your life, except it's going to give you a heart attack at a very young age because I'm about to have a heart attack because I listen to this stuff every single day. And I'm like, come on, make it about you for once. Make it about you for once because you cannot make it about everybody else until you fix yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you, and you're going to say, well, Carrie, this is, that's a terrible thing. I truly believe that some people want to be poor. I truly believe that some people don't want to make money. They just want to, I won't say that word. They just want to cry about it. They want to let everybody know how bad they got it. A bull crap. Who cares? Who cares? If you really want to get out of it, get out of it. Because if all you're going to do is whine about it and not take action, so you can create a reaction and take yourself where you want to go. Who cares? Because you're going to be in the same place next year with the same sad story, saying the same sad crap, and nobody cares. Yeah, you know, I see everybody post their, post their problems on Facebook. Who in the hell posts their problems on Facebook? And then everybody says, oh, I'm thinking about you, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing this. Oh, poor, poor, pitiful me. You know what? After that post is gone, let me tell you something. They don't even remember posting poor, pitiful me. Don't even remember that. And that may not be everybody, but I can tell you, it's probably 99% of them. And you say, Carrie, those are my friends. I know they're your friends, but guess what? They're in that same circle you are. 
They're in the same center of information that you are with the same problems, with the same issues. And yours is the last issue that they care about. You know, you need to focus on you. Make decisions for yourself. Turn yourself around. If you want to be a millionaire, be a millionaire and quit allowing people to tell you you can't be. If you want to take yourself to a place that nobody can enter, take yourself that. If you want to lock everybody else so that you can focus on yourself, lock everybody else up. Because I can tell you, those that truly love you, those that truly care about you, do not want you to stop their, your life for them. How do I know? Because I know for a fact, without question, as much as I love my mother, and I love her with all my heart, as much as I care about that woman who raised me, who brought me out of the ashes so many times that my ass is still burning, she would never pick up the phone and say, Carrie, stop. For me, I want you to do what you want to do. I want you to be successful. Why? Because my mom loves me. People that love you do not want you to stop your life. They don't want that. I can promise you, they do not want that. Hey, real quick, if everybody would, well, I to dry the tears from my eyes. How about giving me some hearts, giving me some love, and how about sharing what we got right here and start a watch party and let's make it happen. Okay, and we're back and I hope that you drop us some hearts in that little box right there. Share us and give us a little watch party going on. Let's continue on. We're going to continue talking about dreams and goals. You know, growing up, I had dreams and goals. Growing up, you had dreams and goals. And when you were growing up, nothing got in your way. Why? Because no, you didn't realize that anybody could. When you were growing up, you didn't realize that anybody could get in your way. You didn't realize that anybody could stop your dreams. You didn't realize that anybody could stop your goals. You didn't realize that anything bad could happen. Because you were protected. Who were you protected by? You had, a, you had a hedge of protection around you that was placed there by those that loved you and those that cared for you and those that raised you. So nothing takes that away. Nothing's going to pull that away. Nobody could, nobody could penetrate that area. Okay? Nobody could penetrate that area. And what's going to happen is, is if you allow others to start penetrating and breaking down those walls and those barriers around you and start taking that away from you. Guess what's going to happen? You're never going to achieve your dreams and goals. You're never going to allow anything to happen in your life. And you're going to sit there and you're going to whine and cry and complain that you can't get where you're going because of everything else in your life. Somebody just messaged me. I don't know if y'all heard the ding. They said, dang, Carrie, you're a little harsh tonight. I'm not harsh. I want you to be successful. I'm not here to be your best friend. I'm here to drag you across the finish line. I'm here to take you where you want to go. I'm here to help you become successful so that you don't have to worry about the crap that you're going through. I'm here to take you across the goal line so that we can score seven points, so that we can continue to get to where we want to go. And do I want to be your friend? Absolutely. But if it means being straight up with you to the point, then that's what I'm going to be. My two boys are successful today because I did not allow them to fail. I wasn't their best friend. I was their dad. And I'm not saying I'm here to be your dad. I'm here to be your mentor, just like I mentored them to help get them across the line so that they could be successful today and doing the things that they do so that they're not dependent on someone else. They're not dependent on the government. They're not waiting on a check to come in the mail. They make it on their own and they're both six and seven figure earners. Didn't go to college. I made sure they finished high school. I didn't finish high school. I didn't finish high school and I didn't go to college. So don't tell me you're not smart enough. 
I haven't had no formal education. I pick up, I pick up books and read. Today I pick up my phone and read. Don't tell me what you don't have. Tell me what you can do. Don't tell me you can't build a business. Tell me how you're going to build a business. Don't tell me you can't do something. You either can or you can't. Both are correct. But you've got to get on the can side. You got to make things happen. You got to take yourself where you want to go. Because if you don't, you're going to continue to fail. And I don't want anybody to fail. I would rather you say, man, that carries an ass. But I tell you what. That boy knows how to make it happen. And I'm following him because he does know how to ha make it happen. He will walk out on the battlefield. He'll he'll let the bullets fly by our heads. He'll put up the shield and help protect us. But you know what he's going to do? He's going to make sure that we do it. He's going to make sure we get to the other side. We're going to go through the minefields and we're going to get the arrows and we're going to get the 50 cal mortars flying and the bullets flying at us and the mortars are going to be coming. But you know what? We're going to get across that battlefield and we're going to get to the other side and we're going to win. That's, I don't know how to fail. I don't even know if that's a word in my vocabulary. What makes me successful? I don't know how to lose. And if I don't do anything on here, I don't care if you ever make a stinking penny by watching this show. I'm going to show you that you're not going to lose. But let me tell you, if you will learn how that you're not going to lose, guess what's going to happen? You can make a million dollars. You can make $10 million. You can make a billion dollars. All you have to do is want to. If you want to, you can make it happen. I will guarantee it. Don't allow anything to stop you. Don't call me and say, Carrie, I've tried and I've tried and I then try harder. Don't tell me what you did. Tell me what you're going to do. Tell me what you're going to do to get there. If you're talking to 10 people a day and it's not working, go talk to 20 people a day. If you're talking to 20 people a day and it's not working, go talk to 40 people. Don't sit on your ass at home and cry to me that you're not making it happen. <laughs> you know, and I tell you, man, I'm so fired up. I got, I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen. I literally got sweat running down me right now because I don't want you to fail, guys. Ladies, gentlemen, I do not want you to fail. I don't. And if something's not working, I'm going to make a shift and I'm going to make a change. And I'm going to help get you where you need to go. Our mission is to help you earn an extra $500 a month or more in income without changing the amount you already spend on shopping to empower you to help as many families as possible do the same. Making shopping smarter for you. Never shop with a brand that doesn't pay you back again. With Trunited, you can choose from top brands who want your business and get paid just for living your life. Treat yourself to a smarter shopping experience. Join us at True United today. And we're going to close with this and then we're going to get off here. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, we all fail. I have failed more times than you will ever, ever know. Did I allow failure to keep me down? No. When I was li living in a shed, did I let that keep me down? No. We're going to pick up tomorrow night. And we're going to pick up right here. We're going to pick up with failures tomorrow night because I want to go into this and we're going to talk about this. And if we don't finish in the 20 minutes we have, we're going to move it to the next night. So tomorrow night, we're going to pick up with failures in life because we all fail. We all fail. And if you fail, wipe it off and move on. Quit harping on it. Pick it up, move on, and make it happen. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, man, you, you, you just don't know what it means to know that three, four, five hundred people a night are watching this show. I will see you tomorrow night at nine o'clock. Good night. God bless, and I love each and every one of you.